Well, in a story you'll only see on CBS News Colorado, we are uncovering a criminal scheme that's taking advantage of migrants here in Denver. Crooks are selling fake Social Security cards and other fraudulent IDs to migrants who are desperate to find work. Your reporter, or your investigator, rather, Katie Weiss, spoke with some of those migrants, and they say they needed to buy the documents so they could feed their families. He told us that he could help us. At migrant hotels. I got it for $100. And all across town. This is a problem. Migrants from South America are being sold fake documents like these. All the migrants. The first document is this. This man, who wanted to remain anonymous, escaped Venezuela with his family after he says the military raided his home, beat him and his wife, and threatened to kill them. For everything I know about the government, for what my father knows, and for not wanting to continue under the orders of the Maduro regime. He tells me he bought fake documents for $120 from a man marketing to newcomers, who can make them in as quickly as just one day. By phone, he asks for a photo, for the date of birth, the name that will be given, and that's it. He arrives and suddenly he has four or five people there waiting for the same documents. So these men are making a lot of money. Yes, every migrant who enters. Getting a work authorization permit can take up to eight months and can require expensive help from an immigration attorney. And not everyone gets approved. This man says he was denied because he used to be a police officer. As a father of young children, he felt these documents were his only option to feed his family. I thank God my son is out of danger. My goal here every day is to work hard so that they can have a profession. So far, he tells me he's used the fake cards to get two different jobs, but lately he's afraid to use them. Here in Colorado, there have been many people who have been arrested by the police with these documents. Do you regret it? No. Why not? Because they helped me support my family. Many other migrants in Denver tell us they've had similar experiences. Innocently, we didn't know because we hadn't found work. And when he gave us the documents, they seemed very real and we thought we could use them. Our photographer also went undercover at a temporary housing area for migrants. When he asked this group of Venezuelan men where to find documents quickly, one man pulled out his wallet and showed his own fake cards. And another offered Offered to put him in touch with a seller. And when our photographer called another alleged seller, he told us for $120 we could have basic cards, or for $900 we could have cards that would pass the federal e verify system that employers use. The city of Denver and community organizations are helping some people with their work authorization permits. It's an effort this man appreciates. So fewer migrants will be tempted to buy from the black market. We want to work. We did not come to be given anything. And what's your message to other migrants? Do everything possible to get your real and totally legal documents, because sooner or later, these false documents are going to cause problems. So let's do things right. Denver police tell us that they aren't aware of any crimes involving the sale of these fake documents to migrants. However, investigators with the Department of Homeland Security tell us they are aware of it, but so far, no arrests have been made. Meanwhile, some officials with the state of Colorado are urging the feds to take more action to stream line work permit authorizations to read more about what they had to say just find this story on our website right now at cbscolorado.com in denver i'm katie weiss covering colorado first all right five